I want that hot stuff Eddie Gilbert out here. Bring that little punk out. Here. Bring hot stuff Eddie Gilbert out here. This has gone too far. I want to tell you, as president of Mid-South, that stuff with the flag is over. I'm not having him insult anybody else by putting that flag on. That Russian flag has no place, no place in the Universal Wrestling Federation. I want you to get rid of that Russian flag. As long as I'm president of this company, I can tell you that that Russian flag is proof. Do that to me? Go ahead, and run your mouth so you make a bigger fool of yourself. You can't do that to hot stuff, Mister. What? I can't do it to you. I can't do it to you. Are you telling me? It's a free country, but if you bring that flag back, you could be wrestling somewhere else. This is still my company. And this, I'm the president of it, and I'm tired of you humiliating people after they've been beaten with that Russian flag. Oh, so in other words, now, I can't do anything. I can't leave the flag. I can't bring the flag. Now, I don't know how much English he understands, but you better tell him to keep his hands off of me. I'm out here in my official capacity. You just tell him to step aside. This argument between you and I. I don't want the Russian flag being put on anybody. trying to intimidate me with all this muscle power because as far as I'm concerned I'm president of this company and I guarantee you, you'll all be wrestling someplace else just keep them back just keep them back just keep them back to Right, the flag, the flag is not going to be put on anybody.
just a few moments. I don't know what I can say to describe what has just happened here. This place erupted with patriotism. As you see behind me, Freebird Michael Hayes, who apparently is going to occupy the chair that the president of the Universal Wrestling Federation, Cowboy Bill Watts, has vacated. Understandably so. Cowboy Bill Watts, uh, we'll talk about that situation more. Michael Hayes will be providing the color in this match. Michael, your comments about what we've just seen. Well, obviously, the Cowboy's not going to be able to come back here because he's probably out of wind. He knocked those guys around, so I know you need help. And I know the ladies would love to look at me. So let's go to the ring and let's go to the action. You know this headset kind of messes up my hair. Let's man. go to the ring about it. Mike Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, from Havana, Cuba, at 240 pounds, Gustavo Mendoza! His opponent from Omaha, Nebraska, at 252 pounds, Ted DiBiase! One fall or 10 minute time limit. Ted DiBiase making his debut back on the mid uh, on the uh, Universal Wrestling Federation. Almost said Mid South Wrestling, the Universal Wrestling Federation. Of course, it's Universal Feder Wrestling Federation. Why do you think they got the money to buy the fabulous Freebirds, the biggest contract in history? Or one, one million dollar contract. That's right, brother. One million dollars. Well, congratulations, Michael, on signing that lucrative contract. Well, I must say, thank you. Professionally, you know, that's uh, it's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, well, you should get all the thanks should go to my our mother. You know, she raised three great sons, and uh, what more can you say? Well, right there, there's a good arm drag and twist by DiBiase. Always been known as a good wrestler, good fireman's carry. But see, right now, the difference between him and us is, like I said before, premium gasoline and regular. You see, he's working on the arm that might be smart. By now, I'd have broke the guy's arm. He'd have gave up. I'd have been going back, taking my shower, looking good like I always do. Ted DiBiase with the arm bar. DiBiase, after a very successful tour of Japan. Successful tour of Japan. He might have been successful, but he heard we were coming in here, and I think he was trying to avoid us. He hasn't forgotten, or if he has, he's a nitwit what we did to him in 1981. I remember that very, very well in the hand of Germany. Yeah, I bet he remembers his good shoulder tackle there by DiBiase. And those that went good to those that were on the hip top. You see, I'll give credit where credit's due. A good arm drag, but I believe I've seen his right hand in the hair there, Jim Ross. Well, you'll never see that from me unless I want to. You see, he hit it from the referee. If I want to pull somebody's hair, I'll do it right in front of everybody because ain't nobody going to do nothing about it anyway. Another good fireman's carry, but then again, back to the same thing. I'd have done had this match over with. Bam Bam would have already probably been in the car or in the limo on his way home if he'd been in the ring by now. Or Buddy. Well, that remains to be seen. Uh... Hey, it'll be seen come uh, 30th in the tournament, baby. That's we got three to one odds. Nobody else has got those kind of odds, and I guarantee you, one of us is coming out with that Universal Wrestling Federation Championship. Of course, Michael Hayes is referring to the big tournament in Houston, Texas, Sam Houston Coliseum, Friday night, May the 30th. $100,000 also on the line in the first UWF Championship. That's right, $100,000. Somebody going to win the back. Ooh, good boot to the face, but see, that was the point of the toe. It was not the flat point. It's illegal. There we go, see? He don't care about his bad reputation. I'll teach him a bad reputation. Right back to the R. Smart wrestler. Back to the final carry. But then again, Jim Ross, he's not a free bird. He doesn't have it finished yet. Ted DiBiase, though, you know, he is a phenomenal athlete. One of the top ten athlete for any magazine you read. Ted DiBiase's name always appears in the top ten. Just about right below ours. Right. right below ours. Yeah, it's always up there. Good move there by Mendoza. Now, see, that's why DiBiase should have beat him when he had him. Now Mendoza's up. Oh, they're good blocks. You know, some people might wonder why Buddy and Terry ain't here. I'm giving all the wrestlers a fair warning. There you go. Why don't you pull his hair some more, DiBiase? I'm giving all the wrestlers a fair warning. I'm not going to bring off three of them. Whoa, what a clothesline. That was perfectly executed by Ted DiBiase. You got that right. That was a clothesline. But if he put that on me, it would knock me down. See, there he should have went for the pin. He didn't go for it. The reversal. Power slam. That's a patented move. That should be it. He wouldn't finish me like that, Jim Ross. Well, we may be able to see that firsthand, ladies and gentlemen. He can't do that to me. I'll bet you that. He can't do it to Bam Bam. He can't do it to Buddy Jack. But like I said, the reason I didn't bring on three, I'm giving all wrestlers notice. <laughs> Pay up your leases. Put your houses up for sale. The Bad Street Boys are here, and we're here to take over. Those and comments. No doubt about it. All right, those comments from Michael Hayes. And ladies and gentlemen, when we return, we'll take you to wrestling's most unusual tea party right after this.